Nah, nah, we're, we're good now. We, we fixed it. <laughs> but okay, uh, speaking of uh, wait, match is going on. We're getting right oh into my it. Goodness. And he already Dude got that death? smash at the ledge, okay. but okay, he's still gonna make it back. Great stream there by Salem. And we all know Salem, one of the best bails in the world. Um, had a pretty, I would say, a uh, pretty funny reaction to uh, set Captain Zack and Manny. <laughs> he was like laughing. Oh, yeah. He was laughing maniacally at seeing some of the tech that Zack came up with. I did. I actually did not watch that set. I still need to. I know I'm not gonna enjoy it, but <laughs> I, I need to see exactly how bad the planking was. Cause I remember a while back, Zero was saying that Salem actually showed off that you can indefinitely plank with uh, Bayonetta, and almost every single character can't really do anything about it. Wow. So. That would be kind of scary. I don't know if Salem's actually going to try to bring out the tech now. Yeah, he's trying to need it. Oh, Ooh, my the, God. The call out's right there. Get lifted. Woo. What a call out and up smash. Like, no matter what, it can't feel good to get hit by that. <laughs> yeah, in any scenario. <laughs> like, they, they were so far up to your mind that the fish was already there. <laughs> you just didn't know about it. I think it, it feels worse than if you got wish time first. Honestly. Yeah. No, it, it does because... That one takes a little bit of time to start up. Which time is like, I think it's like frame six or something? Yeah. But, oh man. But Salem's showing you why he's one of the best in the world here. Yeah, no. Crazy read early on. There's always so many good things you can always find whenever you watch Salem. Yeah. Oh my god. And last time, last time he was here, uh, he actually lost to Dyer in the weekly after Civil War. So there's no Dyer here today, so. Yeah. Also, last time he went Sheik himself, actually, last tournament. Yeah, you yeah, know, he went Sheik basically the entire time, except until I think it was, I think it was like game three of uh, Grand Finals reset. Yeah. Something like that. So going to actual Bay up when we start this time, maybe he's had a no Sheik practice. Okay. Let's see if he's looking for a way to get one of these stocks off right now. Oh, no yeah, tech zone, no. unfortunately. A little too deep and paid for it immediately. God, I always have the sex on point. I'm, I'm actually kind of sad that, like, all these. I think I feel like every single character I've seen so far that's gone stage back is not teched. That's not good. <laughs> hey, man, this is a no. That's not a good start after Dreamland. <laughs> this is a no tech zone. People are tired, man. Dreamland just happened. 24 hour venue. You're supposed to level up after Dreamland, though. It's you're supposed to. They have need to sleep. They need to point. sleep first. They still awake from Dreamland. They had Monday. Unless you went to Juicy's. They still. Juicy's. They still awake. They still stayed up all day Monday on excitement. <laughs> Oh, God. So, I didn't know Seabass had a Martha, actually. Yeah, he's actually a Martha Sheik dual main at this point. Ah, okay. Um, so, definitely, I think I think it's like ever since like, he's gotten popular with MKLeo, he's been bringing it out. Ah, yeah, he was an inspiration to a lot of people with that Marth. Yeah. And for good reason, this Marth is sick. Let's right, see, what they can, see, yeah, see what they can do here, though. So, I actually haven't... I feel like I've seen this matchup quite a bit, but I still don't really know what to think about it just yet. I know one thing for sure is like, you know, since Wired doesn't really have as much of a grab game, at least he can kill with it, um, he's not going to be grabbing as often, which does leave him more prone to get witch timed. So, he's always going to have to be kind of careful about how he's aggressing at this moment. I see Seabass kind of playing this like he, uh, Bayonetta is a regular character. At the moment, it's paying off for him, but he needs to be extra careful. Yep, we're right there. I feel like if Mark can just bait out the witch time to know it's coming, he can get punished super hard. Yeah. And he does eventually have a kill throw up air. I mean, up throw kills eventually. So it's yeah. not like he's not without a kill throw at any point in time. But the good thing is, like, considering how like Bayonetta is, if he does get to like that max rage position, I think he can kill like at 130 with up throw. So definitely gonna be a really, really clutch uh, move to happen. Well, he's almost there, so we'll get to see soon enough. Salem stand on him right now. Okay, good juggle. Oh, get lifted! That kills. And the dancing Blake is the first stock. All right, I see, I see you, Seabass. If you told me there was gonna be a day where Mark's dancing Blade would kill at 108 percent, like solidly, I, I would never believe it. Well, yeah, the, uh, the dancing Blade up on the last is actually really good. It's yeah. actually the most consistent kill move out of dancing Blade. Yeah, and it's just that the timber mechanic is just so strong on Mark in this game. Just oh, we get the tipper, tip of that heel in the back of the head, and Salem gets that stock off. Yeah, pretty, pretty solid there. So, um, one of the things that Mark should be aware of in this matchup is, you know, anybody that has to like normally if they want to go to ledge, he can't. You can't just counter their um, recovery. Yeah, Bayonetta is no exception. So, um, I don't know how early he'll necessarily get the kill since her uh, recovery moves aren't the strongest in the world. But it's just something to, you know, just keep harassing, Ooh. keep tacking on damage. You see that spacing fell off the stage immediate after Burner kick to avoid dancing blade. That was clean. Oh my god. Salem's got the boot for the share. Salem looking to get this 2-0 real quick. Seabass not doing too badly though. Don't I mean? 
You know, 85% and 27 on Bayo. If he gets to that max rage, does two hits, a tipper could seal it out. <laughs> yeah. It's always the scary clutch factor of Mars. Trying to like get 40%, F-Smash tipper will kill. Trying to get in there first. Maybe he goes to a show, breaks in, hasn't gone for one yet. I love to see him go for just one. Just one. Yeah. I'll get caught with Wish Wish, though. You know, one thing I've noticed, like, now that you've mentioned Shield Breaker, I don't feel like I've seen Salem be um, shielding all that often. I feel like he's been getting around with pure movement for the most part. So, Shield Breaker um, only really would be useful for um, putting in, like, that just um, extended range. You were saying earlier, he almost has that 130 max rage. Oh, uh, not max, but high rage you're talking about. One solid read could do it. Okay, offstage should be able to live this though. Did you there? Oh, oh, down air. Get dunked, okay. There's stuff to fight down air by Seabass. I don't got time for air dodging. Yeah, Seabass now actually brought this game all the way back. No, no, no. Don't Tossed. No, that was too early. Oh, you staled it. You staled it. Uh -oh. Let's see if you pay for it though. Okay. He yeah. might, might go for up behind the shield soon. Salem got to watch those shield tips. Fourth throw won't do it, but. Uh, oh, no. that does do it. That I thought it. I thought it would survive there. Nah, I was that much rage, and considering how light Martha is, I was, I was thinking it has okay. a pretty good chance at that okay. point. All right, Red Bull girls are back. Shout out to Red Bull girls coming out. Give it us free Red Bull. Appreciate it. Shout out to the sponsor. Guys, go buy Red Bull because they gave us free stuff. Exactly. All right. That's a great webcam. C920? It's pretty good.